This is Math 98, Practice Test 1, and these questions are 1 and 2. And notice on the first question, we need to convert 100 feet per second into miles per hour. So um, I'm going to first off deal with my seconds. So I'm going to turn my seconds into hours, I think. I'll do it that way. So 100 feet in one second. That's what feet per second. Oh, one second, that's what feet per second means. So now um, I'll turn seconds into minutes. So that's the same as uh, 60 seconds in one minute. And notice that I have seconds divided by seconds. So my seconds cancel out here. Uh, another way to think about this is if I go 100 feet in one second, in 60 seconds I'll go 60 times 100. So that's uh, 6,000 feet. And notice that seconds is gone, so that's now in one minute. And now what I can do next is I'm going to turn my minutes into hours. So um, again, 60 minutes is one hour. So notice I have minutes, minutes. My minutes are going to divide out. So this would be 6,000 times 60. Grab that on my calculator. What is that? 36, 0, 360,000 it looks like. So that would be that many feet in one hour. And so now I have it part of the way there. I have it in hours. Now I didn't want to change these feet into miles. And so one thing that I know, I'm just going to rewrite it down here so I can deal with it. is uh, feet in miles. So there's 5,280 feet in one mile. And notice the way that I set it up is so that my feet are going to divide out. My feet themselves cancel out. So now what I end up with is that number divided by 5,280. And it looks like I get about um, 68.18. That one eight's repeating. You could just leave it 68.18 miles per hour. So that's problem one. Uh, problem two is similar. Convert this many minutes into that many years. So I have this many, one, four, zero, zero, zero minutes. And I want to change it into years. So I know that every um, 60 minutes is one hour. So if I were to divide this by 60, That'd be how many hours I have. It looks like uh, 21,900. And now with this, um, let's see, that's still big. Let's turn that into, oh, I want to get to years. So let's turn this into days. So there are 24 hours in a day. Uh, hours are gone, so now I'll be in terms of days. So this divided by 24, I can grab my calculator. Looks like I get 912.5 days. Oh, sorry. 912.5 days. So now, um, with that amount, um, I know that it's not exactly 365, but I'm going to say 365 days in one year. That's good enough for our work. So I divide that by 365, grab my calculator, and I get 2.5. So that many minutes is that many years.